an images folder which has 15 images in it, each of the same size, 461 pixels wide and 307 pixels high. They have been named in such a way that they are easy to replicate within our XML document, which you see here. Now, this XML document is very simple. It has an XML declaration on the top, and it's called Galleria.xml. It has this parent node, parent node called Galleria, with image folder attribute, which defines the folder in which our images are located. So within the folder that I'm going to give you, this is our Galleria.xml. And with reference to this document, the images folder is just above it in the same chief parent folder. Under this parent node, I've got all these children nodes, each node called images, and each corresponding to one of the 15 images in my images folder. Naturally, this images folder can also be an absolute URL when you publish your final project on your website. Apart from these, I've got my main FLA document, which, as I've told you in my previous lessons, now since our present lessons have become very complicated, I prepare them beforehand, and then I explain to you piece by piece and explain the code line by line. This main.as has been attached to my main.fla by the, by the flash properties tab. And I can open it here. I'm going to explain each of these lines of code in due course, of course. Our gallery, however, looks somewhat like this. very nice smooth gallery made in flash actionscript 3 